coats for pear shapes to push your style profile higher. If you look at your social media feed during spring and summer and think, ooh, love that skirt, and oh, love that dress in that wonderful spring white color. And then you keep scrolling down and you see that in fall and winter, you look at your photos and you think, um, why does someone dress as Mrs. Potato Head have on it the exact same coat as me? Oh wait, that's me. That lumpy, bumpy Mrs. Potato Head impersonator is me. You knew you were pear shaped, but you didn't know what you looked like. And this is all because of the coats that you choose to wear in winter. While we can't do anything about your past photos, you can do something going forward. You can raise your style profile higher during the colder months of the year simply by the coat that you choose. If you want to avoid repeated trips to the emergency room or frostbite and hypothermia, you are going to need to wear a coat outside during the colder months. If you have a lot of curves and you are in possession of something known as wide childbearing hips, or if you're in the possession of buns that would make even Sir Mix-a-Lot do a double take, then bundling up for the cold weather is even more challenging. If you don't choose wisely, you'll look like you have more saddlebags than the combined Magnificent Seven and their horses. So I do have two strategies for those of us that are pear-shaped. Let's call them bisect and belt. So first, the bisect strategy. So the bisect strategy involves bisecting the vertical line of your body's silhouette. Without having you strain your brain and think back to high school geometry class, this just means that you wear your coat open. The edge of the coat where it opens creates a vertical line down your thigh and essentially provides the illusion of appearing slimmer. It's essentially the same thing as wearing vertical stripes. Neat trick, right? Well, if you're getting ready to walk into a room or take a picture, just unbutton or unzip your coat and you'll appear more proportional, taller, and slimmer. Here are some photos. You can see the beautiful former first lady with her coat open. There she is using the strategy. And then here's some other photos. You can see other people using it. So whether it's in a, you know, a wool coat or you're in a puffier coat made for snow, um, you can see that strategy still applies. The second strategy is called belt. This just means that you get a coat that has a belt. Why? Well, because it draws the eye upward towards the belt and the rest of the coat will lightly float and lie on your hips. It is essentially performing the same function as an A-line skirt or dress. See there? It's the exact same A-line shape. And those of us that are pear-shaped know that this A-line shape is a complete godsend for pear-shaped women everywhere. So all you need to do to accomplish that is a coat that includes a belt and voila, you have an A-line shape. Here's some photos again. Here is the former first lady. You can see she has a belt with the coat and she has a very shiny sparkly belt so it even draws your eye up even more. Here's a more traditional belted option. You see it's kind of the trench coat style coat. And then here is another one as well. So it doesn't always have to be the trench style coat that includes a belt. I wanted to show you some other examples of it. So here it's a puffier coat again, but you can see it has the black belt with it. Again, here's another type of belt. It still draws the eye upward. It's still gonna help create more of an A-line shape than if it didn't have it. Here's another more traditional belted option, but instead of just a regular belt, it has this belt that has these really cool like silver grommets on it. And then here's a puffier coat, um, again, with that belt on there. And I love it. This is a Vince Camuto coat, I believe. So there you go. There's just some other options. So it doesn't just have to be a trench coat style coat to pull this off. Okay. So this winter, when you're bundling up to stay warm, don't forget to bisect and belt to raise your style profile. Now, if you love what you learned in this video, then you will want to watch the new video style series, 
weather your wardrobe. In this series, you'll learn how to stylishly weather any storm or any other weather pattern with the style tips featured in this video. So not just for cold weather, you'll learn for rain, for humidity, all of that. So it's a great style series and you wanna check that out. And last but not least, if you have not done so yet, you will want to figure out how to get your free makeover and learn how to go from plain Jane to captivating and chic. You simply just go to the URL www.nomoreplainjane.com to claim your free makeover right now. So thank you for watching and I'll just keep up the good fight for pear-shaped women everywhere. Thanks for watching.